Ooh, first 1700 sky. Let's go. That's what we like to see. And Dondozo is also what we like to see. Okay, so I know my strategy for this. There we go. Dondozo seems to be in my favour. Let's see if it continues. 1700 guy to, to beat would be absolutely lovely. Gothitelle's going to change much. I guess only a Gyarados switch in. Because that's the only thing that I'd be switching. I wonder if this is just going to be Trick Room instead and they just go with Iron Hands. Gothitelle. And then I got Brute Bonnet and then I should be okay. Sure to what to expect from this Dondozo comp. Like ideally they just go Dondozo with <coughs> something as the lead and then Dondozo in the back, and I tend to be able to beat that with Gyarados and Splatamane. They're taking this seriously. Like they're in the 1700s, they're in a good position to qualify for the Japanese nationals, so. It's alright, there's a trainer card. Oh, did it randomly choose none? No, it didn't. Okay, <laughs> that just took a little bit. Alright, so which one is the Terra? Because I think it should be Poison and Spore and Protect. But if they sub, that's really bad. I could protect and Terra Electric. That one would be okay as well. Oh, Terra Poison, I think. If it's sub, then so be it. And I guess next turn I'm ice sharding and sporing. Am I being wise to focus down the iron bundle? Because if I lose um, Baxcalibur, I don't have a good way of beating it quickly. I'd have to use my Fluttermane and I don't really want to do that. Please do not sub. Sub is not ideal. Okay, freeze dries to start, that's alright. Stazzling Gleam, please. Crit is not nice. Stazzling Gleam, okay, cool. That's a good start. Were they booster energy on the iron button? I think they were. <clears throat> but that's a good start. Uh, I can't tell. Anyway, um, Bullet Seed, the Flutter Main, Glue Rush, the Iron Bundle. Nothing bad really can happen. Unless it's a double switch to Dondozo, but even then, that'll be okay. Well, I enhanced, they didn't bring Dondozo. Okay, but I'm fine getting a Glaive Rush into that. Now, do I play the sleeping game? Because that's a two shot on Iron Hands. Like, for sure. Bullet Seeds don't KO Flutter Mains anymore. Uh, it might KO this one. Oh, it needs five. Get five and I'm in such a good position. Go on. What? Nice. No! Ah, oh, it paused! It, it faked me out. Um, right. So I am playing the sleeping game. So could I shot and sucker punch the flutter main and then that gets it? But then that leaves the iron hands open to do what it wants. So I think I will sucker punch the flutter main. 
and I will just wave rush the iron hands again. It's risking the sleep if they fake out the... Okay, yeah, so I could have bullet seeded. But that's okay. It's not the worst thing. Should have bullet seeded. Should have played the game. They are not Terra Fairy. Don't you dare be Terra Fairy. There's no way. A Terrifier. That's fine. I don't care about that. Not really sure what that was for. Yeah, because they didn't even fake out. Like, what, what was that terror? I guess they had, like, Fire Punch or something? I don't know. That was a waste of a terror, for sure. <coughs> but it is a massive shame I didn't bullet seed there. It's Tatsugiri. Okay. So... Pretty sure it's Spore, the Iron Bundle. Just drop, probably just drops to Bullet Seed, right? Could suck a punch and ice shot the Tatsukiri. That doesn't seem like a bad shout. Nice and strong. Nah, no, it's not gonna get it. Nope. Draco? It is Draco. But they attack the back Scalibur, so that's good. Okay, that's the good way around. Oh, is that gonna KO? Based on that damage, I just live. Suck a punch to Tatsugiri again because it was choice scarfs, and I will attempt to glaive rush the iron bundle. If they switch to flutter main, it's fine. I just suck a punch to the flutter main. Like, it, it's fine. And also, that freeze dry was just about not going to get me. Like, I'm making the obvious play, and they're making the play ab around that, but it's fine. Living. Nice. That should be game over then. And that was the 1700s guy as well, so we like that. So what is the correct way? Because I've got Sucker Punch as a pin, and it was wait, it was Choice Scarf, right? Because it outsped the Iron Bundle, it must be Choice Scarf. Therefore I can Sucker Punch it, and just go into Gyarados. And they're asleep with a Flutter Mane as well, so yeah, the, the things are looking very good. So I'm confident that's Choice Scarf. <coughs> and then to get around the Sucker Punch, they have to lock into not an attacking move, and I don't think that Tatsuki has any not attacking moves that are a concern. So Sucker Punch it. And just Waterfall. Uh, Iron Head is technically better. In case I end up waterfalling a Storm Drain Tatsugiri for some reason. But yeah, there we go. Nice. That was a 1700s guy. Sorry that you're going to lose your... Um, Japan Nationals invite now, but <laughs> I want the CP. <laughs> That's how it works. But it's always good beating someone who's like 100 points ahead of you, because it's a significant chunk of points. Like I was... Yeah, that's 19 points, I'm pretty sure. So, that's a good chunk. And another 1600s person, so that's good. Oh, wow. Tor like, Aquabreed Taurus is actually legit right now. It's very good against every single ruined Pokemon. It walled the offensive ones, and it close combats the not offensive ones. So. And also intimidates the Tinglu. But. Azumarill's looking very good. Might just go with my regular Annihilate Mousehold strategy in this. With the zoom in the back and cheat you for sure. <coughs> Rubonnet was okay. Excalibur was okay. Obviously.
obviously heard that because my desk is quite loud. Helping Hand Fairy Terror Moonblast is the play that I go for into Mouse Holds. The only way it goes wrong is if they protect Mouse Holds, and most don't. Most just beat up their Annihilate, because obviously I'm not going to Moonblast the Annihilate. They Terror the Annihilate, so it doesn't actually matter. Most do not protect. This is assuming it's going Mouse Hold Annihilate. And obviously we're in the GC, so it's going to be Scar Final Gambit instead. And then my Gyarados gets KO'd, and then I get Thunder Waved by the Mouse Hold. That's a cool training card. Happens to be my one. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> so this covers everything except Protect Mouse Hold, and that is incredibly uncommon. And that is Vital Spirit on the Annihilate. That is even better for me. Love to see it. Like, I'm fine giving them a plus one, because, like, the Drain Punch does nothing and Rage Fist doesn't do anything while they can't KO me. But it does need to be Terra here, so that all like Rage Fist also does nothing, and it definitely KOs Mousehold. It's one of the reasons why I think that my Fluttermane outspeeding Mousehold for sure is necessary. Obviously some Mouseholds don't go max speed. But I feel like this is necessary. Don't protect the mouse holds, and I'm in a great position. Yep, there's the Terror Annihilate. So, like, you don't need to protect mouse hold if you are terroring your Annihilate. Like, you just don't. Like, your water, yeah, that's fine. Perfectly fine. You don't need to protect the mouse holds. You're going for the beat up. You beat up and then Rage Fist KO the Gyarados. Like so. Good. That's a good start. <clears throat> Especially because they're Vital Spirit, which, like, minus one, they're doing nothing. I ignore the Annihilate now. Yeah, there's the Rage Fist. And not much at all. Yep, not much at all. <clears throat> That's not even breaking a sub. So, that is a good start. Just Amoongus. Okay, so I definitely sub. And I will attempt to Thunder Wave. But which one? Because I'm definitely subbing. What did I have in the back? Chi Yu, right? Yeah, and Azumarill. So I'll attempt to Thunder Wave the Annihilate opens Force of Rage Powder, and I will sub. Okay, fine. Could have Thunder Waved into the Amoongus, but this is fine. Yep, good. I could consider helping hand Moonblast into the Annihilate, because then that forces the Rage Powder. And then they're just being useless. So yes, I'm going to go for that. Because they wasted the protect, like, used up the Protect, I should say, as well. <clears throat> so this is good. With the Rage Powder, I'm expecting to still two-shot it. Because I'm Fairy Terrored and Helping Handed. Mm -hmm. They're sporing the Gyarados. I don't care. Like, I've got Ch Chi Yu waiting in the back. I just heat wave. Oh, wow. That was good damage. Like, there are 100 Rage Fists now. No. Oh, they're not defined. It's, like, it's all right. They're not defined. <laughs> they are not defined. Oh, they're sporing the um, Fluttermane. Fair enough. Because they break the sub and then they, they, then they get it. Okay. Reasonable. Now. It is lefties. They don't ever drain punch the Fluttermane, right? You don't ever drain punch the Fluttermane. So I will just get Chip into the Amoongus, because then they're in Heatwave range. And then switch to the Chiyu. There's no way you drain punch my Fluttermane. No way.
Like, you could protect and spore. Like, that makes sense, because that's, like, guaranteed. And you've got to get some lefties as well. Yep, Rage Fist, good. It's 100 base power now, but they're intimidated, so it still does a lot. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Flinchy Boy, Psychon Helping Hand. Rocky Helmet, fine. And just Pollen Puff, oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't think about that. A Flinchy Boy would have just sealed the game. But now, actually, this has got quite rough. Hmm. Do you Rage Powder here, or do you pray to protect the Amoongus? This is the game-defining turn now, because I could help him hand Dark Pulse. And I will. Protect Amoongus and Drain Punch to Chi Yu, and that keeps it safe, and then you can spore again. Acceptable. So long as this is a KO. It's fine. It's fine. Protect on Annihilate makes a lot of sense as well. Okay, good. KO. Nice. That's good. Now Azumarill is looking pretty good. So I switch out the Chiyu so I can reset into Overheat. I might be in Aqua Jet range. But my Azumarill looks very good. So do I just get Dark Pulse damage into the Amoongus? Because they could still Aqua Jet here. Definitely want a Thunder Wave. Yeah, a Thunder Wave the Amoongus. I'll switch into Fluttermane for now. Because I don't want to switch in Azumarill on the, like, any damage or a Spore. I'll just get Azumarill in when something is KO'd. Yeah, it was Aqua Jet. So, like, it... Okay, I'm switching in a zoom roll. <laughs> Fine, that's another critical hit. We're we getting, getting a power boy. So I didn't get a flinchy boy. No, of course not. But that's alright. So they're not doing much to the zoom roll. Um, is it worth switching into the Chiyu for the Gyarados just to intimidate the Taurus? And do I play rough the Taurus, forcing the Rage Powder? Because the Taurus might not have Protect. I swear that's less time to decide your Mon switching in. It should be 45 seconds, shouldn't it? Have they changed it? Am I missing something? Yeah, I will play rough because then this forces the Rage Powder and then Amoongus is not putting my Azumarill to sleep. And they might even... They do a Protect. Okay, so Ice Spinner was way better. But I burned a turn of sleep on the Gyarados. And they might get fully paralyzed as well. The odds are starting to get in my favor for them to just not move at least once. Like so. So that's good. So now, now I will help him hand Ice Spinner, I think. Or am I following the same logic of they are forced to Rage Powder? No, I'll, I'll go for Ice Spinner this turn. Okay, I get the helping hand as well, so this is looking very good. <clears throat> yeah, that was the Rage Powder, so I got that correct. 
Because they had to that turn. Just Raging Bull, that's doing nothing. Yeah, nothing. I, like, I'm feeling very confident in this game. Especially now that this is absolutely two-shotting. Yeah, definitely a two-shot. It's Rocky Hammock. It's fine. Um, so now, I'll switch into Chiyu. And I will Ice Spinner the Amoongus again. Because then I'll be able to intimidate the Taurus by switching back the Gyarados. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Nice. I told you this was the true climb. <laughs> I say that every time. Yeah, 16, 16, like, okay, so I'm, I'm one game away from breaking definite CP. Like, I know there's Japanese and Korean players in this as well, so I do, I am in a position for CP right now. But against an almost 1700s guy, that's not bad. Okay, they have also recognized that Taurus is very good in the Ruit meta. So, I, mean, I, I, I do like that team. I think that makes a lot of sense, with just like the mouse hold there as well as the support. So, not knowing if there's safety goals or not on there. Mouse hold slash um, terror on the Dragonites makes me dissuaded from bringing Brute Bonnet. No, I think I think it's all right. The Azumaru is still again fantastic here. Chiyu is all right. Gyarados is, like, not bad at all, but I think that Fluttermane, like, whenever I see Dragonite and don't know if it is Terra Normal, I always bring Fluttermane as just insurances of having a ghost type. That's a cool trainer card. Happens to me I one. Household Blossoming, okay. So I should be living a fairy move with my Brute Bonnet, unless it's Moonblast. So I'll attempt to spore, I'll attempt to Glaive Rush KO this Mousehold. And if I live with Brute Bonnet, then I'm in a great position. Unless they sub. If they sub and protect the mouse hold, that is absolute worst case. If they helping hand, that is also a very bad case. Because that just absolutely chunks everything and definitely kills the Brute Bonnet with Dazzling Gleam. Ooh, they are terroring. Is this Terror Fairy then? Because then that will push it over the edge to get the K on the Brute Bonnet. It's Terror Water. No idea what that was for. Like, like, literally cannot tell what that was for. Ice Shard, I guess? Ice moves? Okay, I can tell, actually. Because lo lots, of lots of Backscalibers only run Dragon and Ice. So actually, yes, I can I can see the logic. I just don't think that was necessary at all. So, we living? Super Fang, oh, oh that's a slow plus me. Yeah, we're not living then. Okay, I'm just asking me now. So shame I didn't do it the other way round, because I would have lived with the with the backscalibur. And then put Terra Poison would have been very good. That's a slow Fluttermane. But that also means that my Fluttermane outspeeds theirs. So, could be worse, but also I'm in Dazzling Gleam range now because of my life orb. And I can't Aqua Jet KO them now as well, which is quite amusing. I will go into a zoom roll, and I'll be able to play her off and protect the Fluttermane. And it's Chien Pao, that's why I wanted to see when I'm bringing in a Zoomerol, so that's good. So I can definitely play rough the, the Flutterman here. So, yeah, play rough protects. They switch into Dragonite. Not a good idea on a play rough. <laughs> so, and they've used their Terror, so they can't tear it out the weakness. Oh! I'm fine with that. What's that? Okay, that's reasonable. 
That's reasonable for sure. Because this should, like, they should, like, they're, they're surviving because they're bulky, because they underspent the mouse hold. But they shouldn't do too much. Like, I know their choice specs, but shouldn't do too much. Yeah, that's not much. The player does connect. Amazing. Never does that. So... Do I double protect here with Black Scalibur? Do I switch into Flutterme? Play her off again. And I think double protect is optimal. The Terra Water was actually really annoying because I could have just ice sharded and acro jetted them for KO. I think this is optimal. Never get it. Now, does Azumarill survive the turn? It should, right? It really should. Oh, it's Raging Ball. It's not Wave Crash. That definitely survives. Wave Crash would have got me. So, but obviously, obviously Play Rough is the best move in the world. So now, I'm pretty confident I do lose unless they attack my Fluttermane for some reason. At least they're in Moonblast range, but yep, yeah, Play Rough is the best move ever. Like, I already know what change I'm making to this team afterwards, and Azumarill is not part of it. Because, like, I am sick of missing moves. I'm cursed with 90% accurate moves. It seems. Like, it really does seem like that. So, like, I, 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 like, while I've been playing this, I've made my final... That's good. Was that a throw? That might have been a throw. Okay. Um, yeah, I made, I made my EYC team. I know what it is now. And it may have two moves that can miss. It might have one. I just need to decide... What attack is it going to be on one of the Pokemon? So. But this is not quite it. There's a couple of things I need to change, and shame I didn't do it before this, but it's fine. Right, so. They sucker punch my. If they sucker punch my Azumarill, they win, I'm pretty sure. Unless they're not Sash on the Gem Pow. I'm pretty sure I still lose, but... Oh, I'm living. I'm not living. Not quite. If I'd have lived that, then I'd have been okay. So I just needed a tiny bit more bulk on Azumarill. And it's just crunch, yeah. So... I won't find out if they're Sash, but I'm going to assume they're Sash based on that damage. So yeah, the, the Terra Water, even though I didn't immediately understand it, was actually the killer. If I'd have been able to just Aqua Jet and Ice Shard the Fluttermane, I was perfectly fine. But the fact that I couldn't was really annoying. And, like, it was a really weird Terra Water on the first turn. Like, I know that it makes you better against Ice moves, but... There we go. Also, having the Fluttermane slower to get the damage into Brute Bonnet was also quite annoying. 